Tip, Tip number five. five. Use the N key on your keyboard to turn snap to grid on and off. Tip number four. When working with numbers, left click goes one at a time and right click goes ten at a time. This is very useful, for example, if I wanted to increase the velocity of this note, which is only at 19. Holding down the left button, it would take a long time to get to 100. Tip, tip number three. Here I'm messing with the pan on this channel, but how do I quickly get it back to the center? You can double click. With most all controls in sonar, after you've adjusted them, you can double click them to put them back to zero. Maybe you'll be less frightened to turn some knobs now that you know that. This can also work down here on the sliders. And I don't have to click at the zero, I can just double click anywhere. A double click will put it back to zero. Tip, Tip number two. two. Have you ever been working on a song in Sonar and you wish it wouldn't scroll to the next page as it does by default? You can defeat this at any time by pushing the scroll lock key on your keyboard. There are times I've wanted to make some edits while the song is playing, and this makes it possible to do so. Tip number one. Now here's a great tip. Did you ever want it to stop on the spot? You're listening to your song and you hear a mistake, so you hit the space bar to stop and it rewinds to the now marker. You can set that differently in the settings, but it's a convenient way to have it that way. But supposing once in a while you want to stop it on the spot. You can do this by pressing the play button on the transport bar, or the pause button. Since I'm always using the keyboard, I use the space bar all the time to start and stop it, but I found by holding the control key down while I hit the space bar, it will also make it stop on the spot. 